Hi, I'm Will. I'm a second year mathematician here at Jesus. Likewise, I'm Tal, a second year mathematician at Jesus College Oxford. So before my interview, I was like, I was nervous, but excited at the same time, because it's really a fun opportunity to be able to discuss maths with world experts in the subject and to go through rather kind of problems that you don't see at school as well. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty nerve wracking experience. Um, but at the same time, that's just how everyone feels. Um, and kind of looking back on it now, it was a, it's a really great opportunity, whether you end up get some place at Oxford or not, and um, being able to talk to real world experts in maths is a, is a really cool experience. So, so I prepared for interviews by explaining maths problems to my friends because it's a very similar idea in the interview as well. And I would also search up uh, really interesting maths problems online as well because th there's a whole list of them. Yeah, I agree. I think the most important thing is that you practice kind of talking about maths and, and explaining what you're thinking rather than just writing it down. Um, I think it's very easy to be kind of, you're very used to um, writing maths down on paper, but explaining it out loud is kind of a, a slightly different thing. And it doesn't matter who you speak to about it. Like it could be your friend, your parents, your teachers, if they'll do, if they'll do that, but it's fine if not. It could even be yourself. Um, Kind of any practice is good practice. Just really try and um, develop that skill of explaining maths out loud. So I think there are some very practical things um, that you can do on the day of your interview. Um, so the things that come to mind are make sure you know where your interview is happening, make sure you know what time it is. Um, if it's at school, make sure that's kind of a quiet room. Um, turn up with plenty of time. Make sure the technology is working if it's online. Try to get a good night's sleep before, that's a, a really important one. Um, try to eat a fairly substantial breakfast, you don't want to be hungry on the morning of your interview. Um, I think those are kind of the practical things, but they're, they're definitely really important. Yeah, and once you're in there, um, try to think out loud is probably the most important one. They really want to hear your ideas and they want to see how you progress through the problem and how you, how you get to the solution more so than when or if you get to the solution. But at the same time, it's a balance of not blurting out the first thing that comes to your head. Take 10, 15 seconds to process the problem and then start talking. Um, but if you, it's also, if you have nothing, if you don't have a, a, an idea of how to stop, they're very happy to give you a hint. They don't want you to be stuck on the same thing for minutes on end. They want you to progress through the problem and basically show off the best that you can do. Um, they're definitely not trying to trick you. And if you feel like it went badly afterwards, try not to focus on it. Everyone thinks it went badly. As humans, we like to focus on the bad things that we did and not realize all the good we did in our interviews and in anything in life. So just uh, try not to focus on it if you think it went badly. Yeah, I think, um... Like the thing we are really that's really important to emphasise is there's no substitute for um, just trying to solve lots of maths problems. That is really the best preparation. Um, kind of maths problems that you haven't seen before. Look on the internet; there'll be plenty on online. Um, and certainly also explain it to people. Explain them out loud, or work on it with someone else so you can work together on it as well. Would be a good idea. Yeah. And kind of verbalising it, make sure yeah, you can you can explain it out loud. That is by far the most important thing.